It's really windy here. Like it's really, 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 really windy here in Swift Current. You pick some place where the wind is unimpeded as it hits the hills. And that's a big open field on the edge of town where there's nothing. You build an entire city up there from scratch every year. And you take it down seven days later. It's the best place to have a kite festival. When we get about five miles from Swift Current, I look up on the hill and I can see the tents up there and everything just gets a little better. Warm up a little bit, blood rushes through you a little faster. You're here and a weight's been lifted. It's like, yay, all the fun's gonna start. There's not a lot of kite festivals in the middle of the prairies and prairie flying is quite different. Everybody gets a different view of your kite because of the wind. It doesn't know what it wants to do and what direction it's going to come from. It has a mind of its own. We have beautiful skies here. We have horizons that go forever. We have the wind. We have the people that have the vision to bring in a kite exhibition into an art gallery. All of the things kind of came together to work really well in Swift Current. We have a core group of people that come from the United States and Canada time after time after time. They're called celebrity kite flyers and we treat them as such. Being part of the home team makes me feel special and I know that I'm liked and can put on a show and make everybody happy. To be called a celebrity flyer is kind of fun. People looking at my kites and coming up and asking me about them and talking to them. Even when I have a very large kite in the sky, if somebody comes up and asks me, about the kite, I'll bring it down and show it to them up close so they can understand the work that went into it, how it's made, and tell them a little story maybe about how I came about to design the kite. Each one of us has a special talent, something that's different from everyone else. I do a lot of portraits for people who passed and kind of donate them to relatives. I can't tell you how much support I got when Diane died from these kiters. Ron did me a face of my wife after she passed away. I was flying at the festival, so she's there. The Kite Flyers are a very sweet, generous group of people. Every year, Ron Bohart makes a kite especially for our kite festival that he then donates for us to auction off. This year's is Minions flying the Windscape kite. If I can build a kite and donate it to the festival so that they can get back some of the money that they gave to me, you know, that's a joy. Most festivals for kites aren't oriented towards children. I imagined a festival that was different. There is an entire half a tent where kids get to make their own kite. They learn how to make them, they learn why they work at Latway, they get to decorate them, and those kids get to go just outside the door, right into the family area, and they get to fly those kites. We have passports that encourage the kids to go around and meet all of the kite flyers from all over the world as a way to get people engaged in it. When kids can go to anywhere, and enjoy themselves, have a good time. It brings the parents, the parents want to come too. It engages everybody, from little tiny people getting their face painted, to teenagers that want to learn how to do sport kites, to grandma who just wants to sit on her lawn chair and watch the spectacles in the sky. We have great volunteers in Swift Current. They always, always show up and they work really hard and we're very lucky that way. Everybody's smiling. The community really goes out and helps everybody out. I've always been very thankful for Swift Current and all the volunteers that we get out of this community. To see that many people coming and enjoying themselves, it just feels good. To have them up in the air and have the perfect wind, that makes a great day of flying. Every time we get together, it's really enjoyable. I would do anything to come back here, I love it. It's a lovely experience.